Disney presents... From Walt Disney's wonderful world of color, Treasure in the Haunted House. And now your host, Walt Disney. One for her, one for me, and one, two, three for Uncle Sam. One for her, one for me, and one, two, three for Uncle Sam. Just pilot there, Marla. If I remember rightly, it was uh, Rudyard Kipling who said, a man spends half his time working for wealth and a woman, and the other half trying to keep from losing either one of them. Well, uh, that's pretty cynical, and I'm not at all sure it's true. But there's no doubt that women and money do have one thing in common. You can't hang on to them by just saying finders keepers. Of course, practically every man learns that sooner or later. But on this program, a couple of young fellows named J.D. Gray and Holly Mason find it out a lot sooner than you'd expect, at the age of 14 to be exact. And that's just about the time when one boy will do most anything to keep another boy from looking too good in front of the girl that looks wonderful to both of them. Well, that sort of thing caused quite a bit of trouble last week over nothing more sinister than a watermelon. It taught the boys that crime doesn't pay. And this week, they learn all about women and wealth with the help of a mysterious tramp and the treasure in the haunted house. Two, three for Uncle Sam. One for her, one for me, and one, Come on, Freddy. What's the use of taking a shortcut if you're going to be so slow? Wagon dragging is hard work, especially through here, and it's hot. Okay, I'll help you. Now, the work would be a lot easier if you keep a picture in your mind of sitting in the treehouse, sipping an ice-cold drink. With a piece of this ice we're hauling floating around in it. Is that your idea of helping me? It's good advice, Freddy, and I give it to you for nothing. How come you're so good to me, J.D.? Because you're my brother. You know what they say, blood's thicker than water. I don't care. I'm not holding this load another step. Well, I figured on helping you about right here. With more advice? No. What about the wagon? Well, keep pulling it. It'll strengthen your arm muscles. We should strengthen some of your own. Hey, Freddie, do you believe the old McTeague place is haunted? Nah. Do you believe old man McTeague's ghost walks around in there? I don't believe in ghosts or haunted houses or stuff like that. Well, come on, Freddy. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to go take a closer look. What's the matter? Are you nuts? Come on, Freddy. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's broad daylight. Daylight or not, I don't like it, J.D. I don't know. Hey, wait a second. Hey, come here, Freddy. What for? Give me a hand. Hey, there's lots of stuff in there. It'd be great for the treehouse. Take that side. One, two, three. <laughs> Give me a stick. Go ahead. Not me. I'm not going in there. You scared? Sure I'm scared. I thought you said you didn't believe in ghosts and haunted houses. I've been thinking it over, and now I'm not so sure. Uh. Hey, how about a nice, big, comfortable chair for the treehouse? I'm stuck. Freddy! Smells 
spooky. Of course. Haven't you ever smelled ghosts before? I'm kidding. Uh, come on, help me out of here. Come on. Something's got me, Freddy. <laughs> what is it? It's just a spring. Oh, it was too big anyway. Hey, look at that. Looks a little like my piano teacher. It's something we've always needed for the treehouse. I'm not gonna bite you. Give me a hand. I'll take it down. Hope it's not too heavy. It is. like this dirty old thing. And besides, it's too big for the treehouse. Yeah, it's lucky it's not the whole moose, or we'd never get in the wagon. Mm. What was that? Maybe the place is haunted. I'm getting out of here. Hey, I'm only kidding, Freddy. I don't care. Give me a hand, Freddy. really are, are people's imagination. They imagine they hear or see something. Can you fight a ghost? I mean, can you hit it with something that it hurt? Well, a guy once told me they're awful hard to beat up. It's wrong to steal things from dead people's houses. It's not stealing. It's borrowing. Anytime anybody wants it back, they're welcome. Oh, we're gonna get in some trouble for this, J.D. You saw the no trespassing sign on the door. We didn't touch the door, did we? Oh, uh, let's get out of here. What do you think they did with the rest of the moose? Probably got away. Well, what do you know? There's Willadine. Hi, Willadine. Hi. Hi, Willadine. Yeah. Come on, Freddie, let's show Willadine our moose head. Not me. I got more important things to do. Like, carry these to the treehouse. Okay. Hi. Where do you see this? What have you got there, J.D.? A moose head. Oh, it's terrible. Poor thing. Oh, it's not mine. It's Freddy's. I was just pulling it for him. He's a kid, you know. Look at those sad eyes. Well, that's what I told Freddy. Hey, you want some help? Oh, no, that's all right. No, let me finish him for you. I'd be glad to do it. Okay. It's easy for me. I'm good at windows, Willie Dean. It is hot, isn't it? Yeah. Last summer was hot, too. It sure was. Harley told me he likes being near club. Oh, he hasn't been around him much lately. Harley's nice. Oh, yeah. Very. Uh, your pa still mad at him? Nope. Oh. I bet you're glad he moved here. Well, to tell you the truth, Willadine, you see, Harley and I, we don't... Hi, Harley! Hi, Willadine! Hi, J.D. Well, watch this. Oh, that's wonderful, Harley. He sure can ride. For a city kid. Let's show him that new trick we've been practicing. Wait till you see this. Ready? That a girl? <laughs> hey, isn't that wonderful? Great. Just great. It took a lot of practice, but I didn't mind. Neither did I. Hey, where'd you get that? Isn't it awful? Freddy. Yeah, Freddy wanted it for the treehouse. Hey, how come you haven't been to the treehouse all week? I've been meaning to, J.D., but Willoughby and I... It's I've my been fault, J.D. We've been riding every day. Well, right till dinner time. I'll get over some morning. Thanks. Did you get the windows done? No, but J.D. said he'd do them for me. Swell, then we can go riding. Thanks, J.D. Oh, it's nothing. We got a new trick we're working on, J.D. We'll show it to you when we get it right. 
I can hardly wait. <laughs> He sure is a beauty. I'm getting to like him. And he isn't too big. He's terrible. Look at them sad eyes. You'd be sad, too, if part of you was hanging on the tree and the rest of you was gone. All right, give me a glass of ice water. And the spyglass. How come I do everything there is to do around here? Because we're short-handed. Oh. Where's that hardy guy who was supposed to help me with things? I've been thinking about Harley. You know, he never finished his initiation. He did, too. He did not. I know what he's got to do to stay in the club. I don't care about initiations. I just want some help. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. An idea you'll like because it'll help you out. Now, what you're looking for is someone Anyone with two hands who can lug things for you, right? And who you can order around. But not Willity. Hey, now, what made you think of her? You know, that's not a bad idea. Why not Willity? She's a girl. I know, but she's got two hands and she's strong, and you could boss her. Nothing doing. Women are out. Okay, I was just thinking of you. Who wants girls around? I was just trying to get you some help. Hey, what do you know? Here comes Willadine and Harley. Let's go down and talk to them. I didn't say yes about Willadine. Hi, we were just talking about you two. Yeah? Yeah, we were talking about getting new members for the club. But it's in the Constitution that girls aren't allowed. Can I have a ride, Harley? Yeah, sure. Well, we... we could change the rule by an amendment, but... Non-constitutional! All in favor of letting the girls in the club signify by saying aye. 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 I'm against it. Now it's constitutional. Well, Willadine, you're in. Gee, Harley, isn't that wonderful? Now, wait a minute. She's not in until she gets an initiation. Like what? Oh, you just have to do some little initiation and... By the way, Harley, you never finished your initiation. I thought I did. Well, just the first part. If you want to be a full member, you have to take the finals. What's the difference between a full member and the kind of member I am? Well, you can't be an officer unless you're a full member. What does he have to do? Oh, it's nothing, really. He just has to stay in a haunted house until midnight some night. I don't know if I can stay out till midnight. Oh, well, actually, we figured one hour in the dark would be okay. All right, Freddy? Yeah, but what about Willity? Oh, uh, she just has to run to the top of the second floor and yell out the window of the haunted house. What haunted house? The old McTeague place. That isn't haunted. It's only empty. Really? Okay, when? Tonight. We'll see you then. Come on, Willie. Hey, how about the rest of my ride, honey? Everybody shares things in the club, remember? I'll share when I'm a full member. <laughs> Is that house really haunted, J.D.? If it is now. It will be tonight. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, J.D., I'll go with her. She goes by herself or it's non-constitutional. And if you start amending again, I quit. I'll go alone. Boo! That's very funny. Thank you. And very babyish. shadows and things, and the place is real run down. But it's not too bad, Harley. See, didn't I tell you? It's simple. I told you I'd do it. Bet you couldn't have stayed an hour. Be careful on the second floor. There are lots of funny noises. Hurry up, Harley. It looks like it's gonna rain. By 10 o'clock, I want you to be a full and equal member. Unless a ghost gets you. Ghosts are just imagination. That's what I said. Who believes in ghosts? Kids. In me. Good luck, Harley. One hour. One hour, huh? One hour by the clock. Not a minute more, not a minute less. Hey, you ought to come in here and see this. It sure is a spooky looking place. Yeah, I know. J.D., I was wondering something. Whatever happened to the people who used to live here? Murdered. Oh? Well, look, Harley, if you'd rather not go in, it's okay. We'll understand, won't we, Willa Dean? Sure, Harley. Oh, when the alarm goes off, wake me. One hour. Not a minute more. Not a minute less. I'm gonna hop around the side to see if he needs any help. I'll go with you. Uh, no, the both of you better stay right here. He might be embarrassed if he doesn't need help. Just leave it to me. 
That sure was thoughtful of J.D., wasn't it, Betty? That's when you gotta be careful. J.D.'s thinking. Scared, it'll show Willardine he's really a sissy. Ah, I'm getting out of here, Willardine. Did you hear all those weird noises? And there's a ghost in here. It's JD. We saw him. Honest? He's making all the noises himself. He is? He's trying to scare you out before the hour's up. Well, he's not gonna do it. Let's 
Get out of here. But where's Harley? Come on, Harley. Forget the shoe. You okay, Harley? Hey, wait a minute. Not me. Come on, Jay. Follow me. I'm gonna wait for Harley. Me too. Maybe he needs help. I'm telling you, the place is haunted. J.D., Freddy, Willardine. Wait till you see what I got. What? It was in the hole where J.D.'s shoe got stuck. Money. Money? Sacks of it. Come on. And there's a lot more in there. Let's go back and get it. Come on, let's get away from here. Wait till you see what Holly found. Oh, you all got rocks in your head. I'm telling you, this place is haunted. Let's get out of here. This place isn't haunted, J.D. Harley was haunting you. Like you haunted him. You're out of the club, Harley. Why? You haunted him first. That's got nothing to do with it. Then why is he out? He didn't stay an hour. If he's out of the club, J.D., he won't have to share the money with the rest of us members. He's out. O-U-T, out. What money? This money. And there's a lot more inside. Wait a minute. Tell him what I said yesterday night about him. You said he never comes around anymore. Ah, uh, stop kidding. Tell him what I really said. Ah, uh, kids forget easy. What I said was it was time to rotate presidents and who we were gonna get. Me. You're underage. I said we had to get a guy who could really take it. And Harley, you can. I don't know if I won't even be in your club anymore. But the club needs you, Harley. And you'll be the first president who isn't from town. Well, it's really an honor, I guess. I mean, to get to be president so quickly. It sure would be neat to have a rich president. I'd vote for you, Harley. See, everybody agrees. It's unanimous. Well, congratulations. Now let me get this window open so we can get in there and get the rest of our money. But the money isn't really ours. Well, we found it, didn't we? Hurry up, Willardine! Who's the money belong to legally? Well, legally, it's mine. How is it yours legally? Well, my foot was on the money. Foot same as a hand. To who? To a judge, that's who. If it's someone else's money, it can't be yours just by putting your hand or foot on it. There was a case like this in the Supreme Court of the United States. Someone versus someone else. And the Supreme Court decision was finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Is that where that comes from? In that case, the money's mine because I'm the one who got it. Are we going to share it like we share everything else in the club? Of course we'll share it. Because I had my foot on it first and Harley had his hand on it next. And we're the two presents. We'll share it. And give each one of you something for help. Wow, look at all the money. Yeah, man. 50-50's fair, isn't it, Harley? I'm in the club, too. It should be shared 50-50-50. But what about me? Who ever heard of splitting 50-50-50-50? Looks like there's gonna be more than enough for everybody. I'll never look for an empty deposit bottle again. I'm gonna buy a racehorse. I'm gonna buy a hair dryer. I'm gonna buy a racehorse and a fancy sports car. I love cars. Now, wait a minute. Hey, I found this one. I think we should put it in one pile and share it, even Steven. He's the president. I second the notion. You can't second a motion unless a motion's made up first. You can when you're in a hurry. Now look what you've done. Yeah, now look what you've done, wise guy. You pick it all up. You think you can make me? Harley will. He's president. I'd like to see Harley. Play off, will ya? Wait a minute. Don't shoot! Me shoot? Don't kill us! Kill you? I, I wouldn't kill a chicken. I, I can't even stand the sight of blood. You don't have a gun in there? In the, oh, a gun, for heaven's sake. No, 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 no. You see, it's, it's my little dog, Cricket. What is it? <laughs> now, you can see the vicious animal. As the bark of a butterfly. <laughs> for a minute, I thought we were going to be murdered for sure. That's a dog? Yeah. Looks like a big rat. It's a chihuahua. But don't ask me how to spell it. <laughs> Would you hold it for me? Come on, 
again. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Look at that splinter. Here, let's take a look at that. Wait a minute. Oh, say, that's a beauty. <laughs> now, hold still or I can't help you. I have a tweezer someplace. I'm very good at splinters, you know. Tweezers that come down to T. See, my pockets are listed alphabetically. <laughs> Ouch! Thumbtacks. <laughs> that's the right pocket, though. This is the T pocket, see? Would you help me? There's, there's a timetable. There's a telescope. <laughs> Toothbrush, <laughs> tin foil. I don't know. I don't know. I just love tin foil. <laughs> uh, where are they? Where are they? They're in here someplace, I know. Now, isn't that silly? A nutcracker. How does a man get mixed up with a tease? I don't know. I say, well, that's life, you know. Things. Where are those tweezers? Oh, here they are. Here they are. Now, just let me look there a minute, son. Let me look there. Well, that, that's a big one. Well, it's out. <laughs> Did that hurt? No. I told you I was good at splinters, you know. Thanks, mister. Oh, that's all right. You're more than welcome. But don't call me mister. I, I hate formalities, you know. My name is Alfred. I'm Freddie, and this is my brother, J.D. Oh, hello. I'm Harley, and this is Willoughby. He's a new president, and she's a new member. We, we just let girls in. Oh, is that terrible? Thank you. Where'd you get all those things? Oh, I've got much more. You see, I carry with me everything I have in the world. <laughs> you part of the McTeague family who used to own this house? Cricket seems to like you, doesn't it? No, no, I'm not a McTeague. <laughs> no, I'm just a stranger passing through town, that's all. If you're not a McTeague, then what are you doing here? Well, I was looking for a quiet place to sleep. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, Crickets and I, are, I don't know, we're ready to go wherever the next freight train will take us. Where's that? Where trees get smaller as they grow. Where? Where a whole pie is less than a half a pie. <laughs> Where you can't take a walk because the walk takes you. Where you get up in the morning before you go to bed. Where children punish parents. That's where. What place is that? Well, really, it's, it's no place. It's, I don't know, it's just a silly little dream. I always dream. <laughs> but what are you children doing here? We came here for initiation, but everything got and I tripped up. on a step and fell in a hole. <laughs> Oh, what's, what's this? Hey, what do you know? Money. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's money. I hate slopping houses, don't you? Yeah. Oh, me too. Is this what you were arguing about? Oh, it wasn't an argument. It was a talk. Yeah, that's what it was. They didn't want to share 50-50 with me. Well, I was the one who found the money. Found the money? If I hadn't gone into the house and then stayed out of the house. Well, if I get my foot stuck, you wouldn't know anything about the money. You always want to share something. Hey, please, it. please, keep quiet. Now, you see, that's what's wrong with money. What's wrong with money is I don't have enough of it. No, well, I once had enough. I had more than enough. I used to be rich. You were rich? Oh, yeah, yeah. My picture was in the paper all the time. See, I had hundreds of people working for me. More than hundreds. But I'm modest then. Oh, I was at the office all day and all night. I didn't have time for anything but work. I was building an empire, you know. I was, I was very persuasive. See, I, I remember once... Uh, I remember once I had a luncheon meeting at a fancy, dark little restaurant. And after I closed a big merger deal, I realized I was sitting at the wrong table. <laughs> oh, I was persuasive, believe me. And there wasn't anything I wouldn't do for money. Are you still rich? Oh, no, no. 
No, bad breaks, you know, stock market, things like that, you know. And then my poor wife passed away. My sons left home. My partner quit. And I got nervous, sick. Well, and then I lost everything. <laughs> and then? Then, do you want to hear the rest of the story? Oh, it's a story. Oh, no, it's not a lie, if that's what you mean by a story. It's my story, so, so it's a story, you see. I guess. Well, what happened? Well, I went broke. <laughs> No, I thought it was the end of everything for me. And then I took a long, long walk. And I walked, and I walked, and I walked. And when I stopped, it was dark. Then I remember, I, I looked up at the stars. And then I cried. Because you had no more money? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I cried because I was looking at the sky, and I... And I felt so small. I'm small for my age. Oh, we all are. <laughs> How can you get along without money, though? Oh, you, you don't need much, really. I found that out. We get along. When we need something, I work for it. We try to keep our needs down. You really don't need money to enjoy life. But it's easier to enjoy life if you have money. Well, I'm very happy without a nickel. We get along. I even give things away to people. Not big things, you know, just little things, because little things are all I have. Now excuse us a minute, Alfred. I was thinking, maybe we ought to give Alfred a share of the money. What for? He didn't find it. He's not even a member of the club. Well, he's broke, and we've got a lot more than we need. Don't be so sure. What about taxes? Taxes? Sure. You're working slave to get a little money together, and the government takes most of it. But we didn't work for it. We found it. Maybe we can compromise. No. How about giving Alfred just one bag of money instead of a full share? I'm against it, Willa Dean, as a matter of principle. It's not the principle that matters to me. It's the money. Well, one bag of money will mean a lot to Alfred, and we have so much, we wouldn't even miss it. I'll vote for that. Thank you, Harley. Okay, Willie Dean. I'll go along with it. I can see it now. The women are taking over. Alfred? Yes? Yeah. Well, we just had a little meeting. And? Well, we had a little talk. And look, there's a lot of money here. You don't know how much. And we decided that since you don't have any, we'd like to give you some. Well, that's, that's very kind of you. We're going to give you... No, no, I couldn't accept it, you know. Well, why not? Well, it's not mine. It's not ours either. Well, if it's not yours, how could you give it to me? Because we found it. I mean, that'd hold up in a court of law, wouldn't it? Well, I, I don't know for sure. <laughs> you could take it to the police, and they'll let you know whether you're allowed to keep it. Yeah, maybe we ought to turn it into the sheriff. I'm against it. So am I. Will it? I'm not sure. Two against, one for, and one undecided. It's settled. We don't turn it in. My, that was fast. <laughs> Look, why don't you children go home tonight and think about it? By tomorrow morning, you'll know just what to do. Hey, that's a good idea. Well, it's all right with me. But what are we going to do with the money overnight? That's right. The bank's closed. And we can't leave it here. Why not? I'll be here. I'll guard it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You'll just watch it. Oh, yes. I'll, yeah, I promise that, yes. Yeah. I think we better have another meeting. Excuse us, please. Now, let's get this straight. A stranger walks in here, a guy we've never seen before in our whole lives, and he asks us to trust him with a whole bank full of money, overnight. Well, I trust him. Sure, you trust him. But how do we know he isn't another Jesse James? He's too old to be Jesse James. All we know about him is what he told us. And even that sounded pretty weird. But he has on his thighs. That's what I was just about to say. Even though he is a stranger and sort of weird, he has those on his thighs. Sold out again. We decided to take your advice, Alfred. We'll leave the money with you while we think about what we're going to do with it. Well, that, that's fine. 
I'm sure you'll make the right decision in the morning. I just hope we made the right decision tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Alfred. All right, children. See you in the morning. Sleep tight. Crickets, are you thinking the same thing I am? <laughs> this is an awful lot of money. I'll say it again. Dear friends, after you left last night, I did some thinking too. I thought and thought and finally decided what I had to do. I guess by now, my friends, you know what that decision was. So long, friends. I just can't stop using that word. I feel richer today than yesterday because I have four new friends. Your friend, Alfred. Sure, he's richer today than yesterday, and we're poor. Friends. This is all your fault, Harley. You and your kind heart overflowing with trust. I never trusted that man, never. What he said about giving. Boy, oh boy. He sure did give it to us good. Come on, we might as well go home. Even his dog looks sneaky. It's all your fault, Harley. You were the one who first said he was nice. Well, you didn't have to agree with me. Uh-oh, here comes the sheriff. How many years can you get for trespassing? Now, let me do the talking. Can your folks visit you in jail? Keep quiet. Hi, Sheriff. Morning. Glad I found you, kid. Something wrong? Well, there was a little old man by the name of Alfred. Alfred? You found him? Uh, no, he found me. And he had nine sacks of money with him. He turned it in? Now, why would he do that? The money was identified as coming from the state bank robbery 10 years ago. And there's a nice fat reward. Reward? That's why. Did it all after grabbed off the reward? He said he didn't want a reward. He wanted you four kids to have it. And he was just delivering the money because you were his friends. Well, where is he now? Uh, we have a watermelon for him. I don't know. He told me where he was going, but it sounded all mixed up. Have you ever heard of a place where the trees get smaller the more they grow? Oh, by the way, he wanted me to give you these for your club. For splinters. Boy, what a great guy that Alfred is. He thought you might be interested in this. Multimillionaire breaks ground for new factory. Hey, that's Alfred. Wow. Here you are, J.D. Oh, thanks. Hey, why don't I get my horse and we'll all go for a ride? Is it four of us? Sure. Gee, I'm sorry. I can't go. Good. You can't why? go. I've got a date. Be right there, Slap! Slap? Slap's five for the football player from New City High? That's him. But he's so old. He's just 16. 16? He can almost shave. Now that I'm in the club, can I come up anytime I want? Yeah, you I can come so. up. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Slats is going to teach me how to drive. Slats is going to teach me how to drive. Hi, Slats! We ought to kick her out of the club. And how? I told you girls was a mistake. We should revoke the amendment. You said it. You bet. And all in favor, say aye. 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 Now, put your left foot on the clutch. Uh-huh. Now we'll put it in gear. 
Now, put your right foot on the gas. Right. Now, ease off of the clutch and down slow on the gas pedal. Oh, that's too fast. Kid like her going out with an old guy like Slats. It's terrible. Better him than one of us, though. Yeah. Stop it, Gaspel! Afraid! Afraid! Marla, will you come in, please? There's several pretty good morals in that story, and I'm sure sold on one of them. I want you to take this out and dispose of it. You mean bend it? No, burn it. Burn it? That's what I said. You mean burn money? Burn money. Marla, money isn't everything. It may not actually be the root of all evil, but it can't buy peace, contentment, or happiness. Remember that, stuff. Who said that? Alfred. Alfred? That's right. Here we go. Come on. You got a match? Yes, I got a match. Get some marshmallows and toast them while you're doing it. and It'll ease the pain. Well, anyway, we'll be back in just a minute to see what's on the fire for our next program. You know, I sure hope that Alfred knew what he was talking about. <laughs> 